Hi, I'm Vic, and welcome to Geeko Farm, where we do things differently. As you can see, uh, winds have been a bit strong recently and we've lost an olive, and you know what that means. I see this so often and go, mm, you're doing it wrong, so I'm going to make the video right. How to open a sack properly. Down on this end here, there we are, we have the long end, right? Right, so long end, cut there, right? Get that little bit there and pull it, yeah? And then you can pull it all the way across the sack. Sack opens, nice clean edges, and you can use the sack for something else. Here ends the public service announcement. Believe it or not, it's the height of summer here, and we've been having temperatures of 30 degrees. At the moment, um, yeah, not a lot of the sun, and um, I'm in long trousers. Anyway, the pool over there, uh, we've had to put a sun shield over the top of it so that we can actually use it. I'm just about to check the chlorine levels, see if there's any in there at all. Oh yes, that purple thing there tells me we've still got chlorine. Mm, still got green stuff as well. Have to use that vacuum cleaner, one eye. Today's plans are fairly simple. I have to turn all of that, uh, which is, believe it or not, a chicken pen, um, into one looking more like that, so that they can go in there and not crap around all over my driveway. And you've got to move all this stuff over there, and there's some things hidden in that stuff that I don't want to hit with the lawnmower. Anyway. That's for later. First, my morning cup of coffee. Apologies for the crap video quality. Um, I am making coffee this morning, courtesy of uh, Eddie's wonderful macchiato stuff. And this involves the use of cream. And for some reason, every time I try to make coffee, I end up with a pain in my shoulder. Yes. Very good. And there we have some in ah, and that's on my arm now. Yes. Very good. And we put normally she doesn't get this much, but it's tricky with the camera. And there we are. Another day, another task. Weather's uh, still pretty grey. Um, this uh, is my workshop at the moment with um, mm, gun cart. Yes, been building one of those. After a while, carrying a couple of shotguns and a few hundred rounds of ammo around. Yeah, it gets a bit wearing on one. Anyway, into the workshop. Ooh, messy because I've not tidied up. Uh, we have up here, hiding under this pot, uh, the soap from a previous episode uh, left up there to dry for a few weeks now looking uh, pretty much like a bar of soap which is handy because I'm about to embark on my least favorite task yes it's time to clean the chicken shed first let's make sure it's unloaded a couple of eggs. Grab them. Also, go and put a jumper on while I'm putting them in the kitchen. Because it's not that warm today. Mm. 
Yep, all clean in here now. Now, about that soap. Lathers up well enough to shave with too. That's coming off. Let's give it a little more thorough testing, uh, possibly without the camera. Well, that worked out all right. Uh, no problems with uh, any of the sensitive bits, and they come out smelling mostly of soap. Um, did use uh, shampoo, so. Anyway, I have to go into town to the lab, the Masterton Fab Lab. There's a Facebook page where we will be looking at the inside of Arduinos with a bunch of kiddies. But for now, that's your lot, down on Kiko Farm.